welcome to today's lecture today we will be studying about the third part of duodenum the third part of duodenum is 10 cm long or else 4 inches long it develops from the midgut it is retroperitoneal and fixed its anterior surface is entirely covered by the peritoneum except in the median plane where there is superior mesenteric vessels and also the root of mesentery. So here what you can see, so this is the third part of duodenum. So the third part of duodenum begins at the inferior duodenal flexure on the right side of the lower border of the third lumbar vertebra then it runs horizontally to the left and crosses in front of the inferior vena cava and ends by joining the fourth part in front of the abdominal iota so in this picture what you can see this is the portal vein this is a splenic vein superior mesenteric vein this is a superior mesenteric artery then this is the root of mesentery. Then this is the third part of duodenum. So coming to the relations, that is the anterior relation. So anterior to the third part, you are having the superior mesenteric vein. Then the superior mesenteric artery. Then also the root of mesentery. So in this picture, what you can see, this is the right kidney, right suprarenal gland. This is the inferior vena cava, iota. This is the third part of duodenum. This is the ureter. Then this is the gonadal vessels. This is the inferior mesenteric artery. So coming to the posterior relation. So this picture is shown to show the posterior relation of the third part of duodenum. You are having the right sauce major muscle. So this is the right sauce major muscle. Then you are having the right ureter. So this is the right ureter. Then you are having inferior vena cava. So this is the inferior vena cava. Then right testicular or ovarian vessels. So it, it is called the gonadal vessels. Right gonadal vessels. Then you are having the iota. That is the abdominal iota. Then also origin of the inferior mesenteric artery. So these are the posterior relations. So in this picture what you can see this is the C shaped duodenum. This is the third part. This entire thing is the pancreas. So coming to the superior relation superior to the third part of duodenum. You are having the head of the pancreas with the uncinate process. So this portion of the pancreas is called the uncinate process. Then also you are having the inferior pancreatico duodenal vessels then inferior relation if you see there will be the presence of coils of jejunum which you are not able to see in this picture coming to clinical importance the third part of duodenum is most vulnerable to the external injury because it may be compressed within the vertebral column when there is any violence on the anterior abdominal wall. Secondly, you are having duodenal stasis, STA, SIS. The third part of duodenum is present in between the superior mesenteric artery and the abdominal iota. The superior mesenteric artery is present anterior to it and abdominal iota is present posterior to it. Due to the compression of these arteries, it can lead to duodenal stasis. Thank you for watching.